guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Nikki and if you're new here please hit that subscribe button and join me I post content related to weight loss and lifestyle um, entrepreneurship you know a little bit of this a little bit of that so um, yeah join me girl um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and if you have questions comments or you want to say anything to me um, leave it down in the comment section so today you guys I am standing in my showroom um, it is I'm having a, actually a sneak peek today so um, I don't have everything the way I want it but um, yeah it's a little cute just look behind me I am so excited um, but um, yeah this showroom I am splitting it with someone else um, so yeah I just have a little bit of clothes there and I have some fall stuff over there and of course I have some more stuff right here. I'm super excited. I am going to be starting my entrepreneurship um, blogs. Um, kind of letting you guys know some of the things that I do while I'm in the store, while I'm in the showroom, not in the store. It's not a store, it's a showroom. So I do still have my online um, link I will leave it down in the description box I'm kind of just rambling um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys around a little bit so I'm not going to go ahead and just stop rambling and just show you guys around so yeah let me turn the camera around Now that I've showed you guys around, I'm going to tell you guys what updates I want to apply to the room um, and all of that jazz. So, um, let's see. Starting over here, these are some basic sets um, that I am trying to get rid of. I'm actually having a sneak peek today and I'm trying to get rid of all of these. So, I've marked them down to five bucks um, for the top shelf um, and the bottom shelf. It is ten. So for this wall, I want to get the wall mounting racks to go up here. I want to do one, two, and three over there. We're thinking about moving this flower wall because I want to put some in the middle. Um, and on this wall, in that little corner right there, I'm going to get another wall mounting rack because I can either hang dresses or jeans there as well as like a whole two-piece set like a pants set because we're getting ready for fall and also on the other side over there as well now in the middle um i am going to get a um i guess it's called a decal to put like my boutique name at the top so um yeah now i don't really have a space to put this is the wall the not the wall the window and this is my partner's area right here um she's gonna get another white table it's gonna be a long white table here and then everything is gonna be put up under the bottom so she won't have anything there the mirror is going to go on the wall um, we'll probably put a TV there. Um, we're also going to close that vent and put our signs on the door. This is a suite. It's very, very small. 
um, I just had to come out of my house because I had so many I had too much stuff not so many but too much stuff and I was just getting aggravated um, but my partner is my cousin she makes wigs she sells bundles I will leave her link down in the description description box as well that was a tongue twister our AC unit is down there um, good morning good morning good morning guys welcome back to another day another day I don't know why I get that tongue tied twisted anywho um I guess my eye has been running water Anywho, I am sitting in front of the stylist house. I am getting a sew-in. Um, so yeah, your girl is about to get her hair done because I want to keep the wigs off because of this right here. I see a lot of girls with this um, on their forehead, so I need to give mine a rest. So I'm about to get a sew-in. So once I get it, I'll be back. Hi guys, so your girl got her hair done. I am so excited. My curls have fell. Um, I didn't get, I didn't let her put any holding spur or anything because I kind of wanted those just like flowy curls that flows in the wind. <clears throat> so yes, I know I am so far away. I'm sorry, but. Um, another thing I wanted to show you guys is like, I don't know if the wigs pulled it out or if, um, from my surgery, but it does look like I have a little bald spot right there. It's very, very thin. So I'm just going to take and comb my hair down. I probably need to get some of that fill in spray or those edges i'm not getting those edges that's one thing i'm not gonna do but so your girl is getting ready to start her working out this week so now that i have a sewing i don't have to worry about sweating because i can put it in a pony um so yeah i'm just so excited so 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 excited okay so uh, enough of that i am about to cook me some seafood Oops. I'm about to cook me some seafood. Um, I have really, really been off track with my eating habits um this week. Mainly because mainly because I um have been working like a dog, basically. Um, it's like I got straight from straight in from Houston and I had to go to work the following day and working crazy hours. So I'm actually off today. Um, so seafood is not bad. So I have some lobster tails, some, um, shrimp and some mussel. Mussel is really what I wanted. The lobster tail I need to go ahead and fix because Sorry, my phone cut off. Um, but the lobster tails I need to go ahead and fix, even though I froze them. I don't think they taste, um, the same if they have been there for a while. If you have had them for a while. I don't know. I'm just blabbling. But anywho, um, yeah, when I say I've been eating unhealthy, um, like I would get a kid's meal from Sweet Peppers Deli, but it will be the it will be the turkey sandwich. It was just bread. I know the last time I was on here I told you guys that I mainly eat bread on Mondays. Um well I had bread three times last week. Um but I was moving, I know one of uh, my manager who has had the surgery also she was just like well nikki you can justify it since you're just moving she said because i know you done did about ten thousand steps which i had i had probably did more than ten thousand steps so i got on the scale this morning and i haven't gained any weight i'm still at 278 pounds but i have not lost to any weight so i guess that could be a good thing and a bad thing it could be that i'm just at a weight stall um, which I have not weighed since the last time I told you guys I was 278 and I know I had filmed that video 
a while before I posted it. I believe I filmed it like a week before I posted or a few days. Um, I, the last time I weighed is when I had COVID. So that was a pretty good while ago. Um, <clears throat> so um, I'm trying to get myself back on track. One of the things I am going to be doing is planning. Planning my meals because when you don't plan you just kind of eat whatever and that's what happened I just kind of ate whatever um I try I did stay away from cokes not cokes but uh sodas and you know sugary drinks and things of that sort um I did have a coffee a iced coffee that was one of the other mix-ups the double shot um, I did have one of those. I was very, very sleepy one morning, and I used to drink those double shots way before I had surgery, but they have a ton of sugar, like 60 carbs, I think, in one can. So I did drink one. It took me all day to drink it, but I'm trying my best to get back on track. So this week is about getting back on track. Um, if you do fall off the bandwagon, don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up about it. Go ahead and try yourself. Try to get yourself back on track, which is what I'm doing. I am going to be starting my workout. Um, I have my elliptical. I've been talking about that elliptical in every video. So, but um, yeah. Let me show you guys my water for my seafood bowl. So I have my water boiling. Boiling. I just put um some salt some that in that little uh shaker is tony's seasoning and then i have some of the is that mccormick's or grill paste that's mccormick's grill mace it's the same thing what the hell so yeah i just have that in my water and i'm about to drop my lobster tails in there as well as my shrimp i normally don't use that um, boil because sometimes it's spicy and I don't like that so all right guys this is the seafood that I cooked I am going to drizzle some of this garlic butter sauce um it's from a seafood restaurant Drago's I've never heard of them but I saw this in the store and I thought that I might give it a try I'm gonna I'm, I'm going to also squeeze Girl, you can't talk. I'm going to also squeeze some lemon juice on here. Now, I'm not going to be able to eat this in this whole one setting. So, most likely, this is also going to be my dinner. Um, if you guys want to know what time it is right now, it is 1.45, I believe. So, I'll probably have half of it now and the other half for dinner and i might not still be able to get all of it down but anywho seafood does not hurt you you can eat all the seafood that you want it's the butter sauce that you have to be mindful of so i'm just gonna squeeze just a little just for the taste so that's it you guys